small minority of states have obscure and bizarre laws like Oregon's, and we intend to knock them down. In 2024, the most effective way to capture corruption, to capture dirty tricks, is by using you know, spy cams, by using these sort of things, especially towards government actors who hold a public trust. In summer 2023, Project Veritas won a major free speech legal victory when the Ninth Circuit ruled in our favor against the state of Oregon. This decision overturned the state's unconstitutional ban on covert recordings. Oregon law had previously outlawed undercover journalism. As a result of Veritas's multi-year legal efforts, Oregon citizens and journalists enjoyed the full protections of the First Amendment and the ability to use undercover journalism to catch corruption in their state. The summer of 2023, the Ninth Circuit delivered us a, a victory, and it wasn't a small victory. We had facial invalidation, so the court blew up the law. Rather than target a piecemeal part of it or remove a part out or just say it only applies to Project Veritas, suddenly any journalist can come into Oregon and do this sort of reporting. So it's something that benefits uh, everyone, nation, anyone nationwide who wants news about Oregon or wants to go into the state and do that kind of recording. So we were delighted with that ruling. So what Oregon requires you to do is to go out and to say when you're about to record most of the time in public, hey, I'm I'm about to record you. I'm, you don't have to you don't have to get their consent, but you have to say I'm about to record you. I'm about to record you, except except when you're recording the police. They amended the law in 2015 to allow you to freely record the police without doing that, except when there is a felony that's endangering human life. When you're in that sort of a charged, sometimes violent in, environment. It's so important that journalists are able to not have to, again, come in well identified because, you know, like the journalist Andy No, he was attacked. He suffered a traumatic brain injury in his coverage of some of the protests and violent activities. So the ability to go in and secretly record is of paramount importance. Capturing something by audio and video creates the most accurate depiction of, of that data. So if, I, if I'm a reporter and I'm jotting down notes of what a corrupt police officer says to me about a bribe, the public may or may not believe me. But when I produce that audio and that video, boy, that's hard to, to turn away from. In March 2024, on appeal by the state of Oregon, the court vacated Project Veritas's major legal victory, sending the case back to the trial court for a new hearing. With the reversal of this strong First Amendment ruling, Project Veritas is going back to court to continue fighting against the criminalization of undercover journalism in Oregon. There's so much in undercover journalism that happens on the spot. It's dynamic and you have to be able to get it in a moment's notice, seconds or within a minute. You don't have time in a crowded park or in a, on a sidewalk where there's 50 people nearby to make sure everybody's heard it and to be able to then get out the equipment and do it. You need to be able to act that way. What we're challenging is the ability to go out on the street, in a crowded lobby, in public areas, capture that information, be able to report it to the public. Uh, in June, we'll be heading back to the Ninth Circuit just to reaffirm that the right First Amendment affirming decision had already been reached and that the strong medicine of invalidating all of Oregon's recording law was the correct approach.